everybody. I'm here with a tutorial uh, for one of my original designs and it is called the Crypto Frog. I love this. I know it's really big for this bracelet but I absolutely love this frog and um, thought it would go cool on here. I wanted to do something. It's like it would have to be like a nine pin bar design for it to totally fit on there but I think it's kind of cool because it's kind of creeping up over it. Anyhow, this is the Crypto Frog that I'm going to teach you how to do today. It's not hard. You just need good quality stretchy bands. Um, if you're planning to bead it, I put double beads um, every third. So I did one, skip two, do one, skip two, do one. Okay, so, but on the one that I'm going to do today, I'm not going to put two seed beads. These are 60 seed beads. I'm just going to use, you know, just another bead. And, or you can use a single one. Or you don't have to bead it at all. Okay. And then there's beads. So you'll need, if you decide to um, just use single beads, you'll need uh, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven per side. So that's 14 single beads if you're going to double them up like mine. You'll need, what, 28? Oh, terrible with math. Okay, and down the center here, or on every, gosh, I don't know how far apart that is. I'll have to check when we go. But um, if you're planning to bead a little bit right here, just inconspicuously there, then you will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven as well. So a total of 14 if you choose to do it that way. But whatever you want to do, whatever color scheme you want to come up with, I've got another frog. Um, it's green and gold and black, and I'm going to use that one. It's not as white as this. It's more, it's just a fat one. So um, it may fit just a little bit better than this one does, but that, those are the colors. And so, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, this design is five pin bars wide, and it's going to be almost two full loom lengths long. Um, and that will be for full wrap. This is pretty much a full wrap. I didn't need to add an extension or anything to that. So go ahead and pick out your colors. For this one I used, I think that's Persian green. I use the Tin Man, and then the Sparkle Maroon is up underneath it, and then this one I think is the 600 count Green Apple Persian or something like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so go ahead and pick your colors. You can do whatever you want. Okay, and we'll be So back. I'm going to choose to use... I think this is Persian Lime Green. I hardly have any of it left, but it matches my frog pretty well. So I'm only going to do this on the border. That's about all I got left. So except for what I've beaded already. And um, I've beaded up. These are a little bit longer. So instead of doing the two beads on it, this is long enough to, to be for the two beads. So I'm just going to put one single bead on it. But um, this is how we're going to do this. Just bring it out to the left twice, out to the right, twice. I always do the same borders it seems. I don't know, maybe I'm boring. I like everything to be streamlined for the most part. Okay, and then we're going to do a single band, okay? And at that point, what we're going to do is, hold on a minute. Let me just see how many we're going to skip. Okay. So we're going to do a single band, and then we're going to do a beaded band, okay? And then we're going to do two single bands, and then a beaded band. Two single bands, and then a beaded band, okay? So the only one we're going to do one single band um, is just right at the beginning. So a plain band beaded, plain, plain beaded, plain, plain beaded. And you're going to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm going to go off camera and fix that. And I do believe what you're going to do is you're going to stop four from the top. So one, two, three, four. You're going to stop right here. Bring this over, or excuse me, bring it up 
twice so it your point should end the second to the last peg okay on both sides so just stop it right there okay and then I will be back for the next okay step. so that's what we have this is where we ended up just like so okay so now we're gonna work on the center part which is going to be where this um, green part is and for me I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I am going to use Persian black just because my, um, oh, what do you call it? My frog charm has gold and black. So I kind of want to, want to do that. So this is what we're going to do. And this part I did not bead. So we're going to go straight up, I guess. It's kind of hard to keep them straight because they're sticky. I may just not have to worry about it till at the end. Okay, so we're going to go one up, one out. To the left, one out to the right, one up the center. I believe that's what we're going to be doing. Yep. Okay, one out to the left one out to the right, and one up the center, okay? Very simple, one out to the left, to the right, and then up the center, okay? So I'm gonna leave you alone to get that all the way down to the end of the loop. The next part we're gonna do is where I have, um, I do believe this is my, um, what do you call this stuff? I'm trying to think of the color. Tin Man. I think it's this Tin Man, the one that I'm untwisting that I can't seem to get untwisted. The one with the beads on it. That's the next step we're going to be doing. So for that part, I'm going to use my um, Sweets Black because it's got green in it. I wish I had some more of this lime, Persian lime, but I don't use it often, but now that I have the it's, it matches the color almost perfectly. Then I'm kind of lost. I don't have another color that, that matches the frog as, as well. So what we're going to do is I've also beaded up a um, green 60 seed bead on here. We're going to need, I think, let's see, one, two. I think we're going to need 14. Okay, seven on each side. I think I told you at the beginning. But let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to do one single band going up. Okay, then I'm going to take my beaded band. You don't have to beat it, but if you choose to, this is how I beat it. Um, you can beat it however you want. So one going up. One going down, up, down like that. We're going to do a plain band going up to the left. To the right. I think we're going to do just do zigzag the rest of the way. Up. Um, zigzag the whole rest of the way up, I believe. But let me figure out where our next bead's going to go. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so now our bead would go on the fourth band. Okay, so now I kind of have an idea of how we're, to, how we're to beat it. One, two, let's see. On the sixth bead. Okay, well... Let's see here. Okay, so one up, a beaded band going down towards the left. One, two, three plain bands, and we're going to do a beaded band. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then our sixth one will have a bead because it's going it needs to go out that way. Okay, that's at least how it shows in my directions. I don't know, it's kind of weird because this isn't even. Hmm. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, Yep, that's what's going to be. It's now going to be six all the way through. So here's your beaded band, and now we're going to go uh, zigzag six times. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five. And then a beaded band makes six. Okay, so five plain bands and then a beaded band will be your sixth one. And that's the spacing we're going to do all the way down. Okay, so do the exact same thing I did over here onto this side. Just make it the mirror image exactly where I put the beads, and then we'll be good to go. So do that to the very end. Okay, now that I have that part done, now we're working on the part that has is that uh, maroon color that's up underneath there, the sparkle maroon. And since I don't have the proper green to match exactly, and since it's just a background color very, pretty much, I'm going to use an opaque. I'm going to use this... I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's puke green or avocado or ugh. I don't know what it's called, but we're going to go with it, okay? And so basically what we're going to do is going to start in the center and we're going to do a long stretch. So there's where you're going to need some good quality stretchy bands for this part. We're going to do a long stretch out to the left, long stretch out to the right, okay? And then we're going to do connect this and go back out on both sides to make a big giant V. Okay. Okay. V, a giant V is in very big. Okay. So then we're going to start in the center and do the same thing. We're going to go out to the left. Well, you don't have to do right and then left and right and then left or left and right and whatever. You can do one side and then the other side. So you can go out to the left twice obviously, and go out to the right twice. Well, if you get your bands pushed down, they stay in the right order. Okay, I'm going to go out twice. Go out twice. Okay, and you're going to do this the entire way up the loom. Probably a good idea to, to uh, push your bands down along the way. Okay, so that's what we're going to do the entire way up the loom. And then I think we're probably going to be ready for to turn it around and put cat bands on and loop. Okay, so go ahead and finish those big. That looks like an army patch. That's hilarious if you stop right here. Okay, so go all the way down to the so end. So I have, let me fix my tripod. Okay, I've got it all the way like this and then when I got to here I didn't have another long stretch to do so all we did was just do the one stretch on either side and then we're going to need to do the one stretch on either side here okay and that's basically all we're going to do okay so now we are ready to turn the loom around okay now we've got to get some cat bands so let me figure out what we're going to do with our cat bands cat bands are going to go all the way down the center so i'm going to do triple cat bands and we're going to do put them where in the center where these uh, green bands are going across so i'm going to sit put one right here and do a triple cat band and just do that all the way up the loom okay so all the way down the center so i'm going to go off camera finish my cat bands all the way down so i've got all my cat band bands down the center i wanted to show you something just so that you knew i created this design 63 weeks ago so very very long time ago i just love this edit it was so cool but anyhow just so you know that that is when i um created it okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to loom this out okay so get your hook and we're going to go in the center and loom it back to itself so the top band will get loomed back to itself on both sides okay and then we're going to go up here same thing if that doesn't happen to you okay guess my hand didn't want the hook Okay, so those two are the only ones that we went back. So now we've got to go back twice. So we'll go into the next one and we'll go back. Well, oh, <laughs> let's see here. 
I have this gut feeling we did something wrong. Nope, you know what? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to go in through this one top band, okay? And just bring this one down, okay? If that makes sense. This will be single. Because the way we put it on, I don't know if it matters, but that's how I looped it. Actually, it must matter if I did it that way. Okay, um, so basically, yep, because that's what it shows on my pictures. So, okay, let me show you again. We're going to get this top band and bring it down towards the right. Now, this band was not on the bottom of, of this band because we had laid it because um, of the way we laid it. It's in the center. I don't know if you can see that. You see this one? It's in the center there. So you're just going to go through this one, this one band, this top band, grab it, and bring it down like so. And this is only one single, okay, if that makes any sense. Okay, because it won't be like bringing the whole... Am I even making sense at this point? Because this band is on top of this band and not this band on top of this band, it's not going to loop back the same. So in other words, go in through here, grab this band, bring it down. Now we're just going to go in through this top band that we looped down and grab that single band and bring it down. Okay, and do the same thing on this side, bring it down, go in through the one loop and grab that top band and bring it down. I want you to do that the entire way up the loom, if you don't mind. This is what it should look like all the way up to the end, just like so. And now we're ready to do what these bands, which is what I used my um, black sweets for. Okay, and we're going to go in through this second uh, pin bar, second peg up, and we're going to grab this one and bring it downward okay and then we're going to bring this one out to the left out to the right i guess i should have pushed some of my bands down and then i think we're just going to zigzag it up okay so down to the left to there and now we're just going to zigzag it up so we'll bring this one in bring this one out make sure you're grabbing the right band in out well in out okay that's basically what you're going to do so you're going to go in through this second peg and bring it down to the right and then out to the right that's what you're going to do first and then we're just going to do the zigzagging so we'll just do in towards the left to the right Gotta make sure I'm getting the right band. Kind of hard to, ah, uh, the way that I'm sitting. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, I'm gonna go nuts here. Let me fix my camera. It's got all jacked up. Okay. So you wanna make sure you're grabbing the right one. Okay, and towards the left out towards the right and you're just going to do that gosh did i even have you on film that's mm -hmm. so i'll do another one so to the left to the right okay so do that the entire way up the loom so when you get down to the very end you're going to do one out and one up on either side Okay, so now we're going to have to need a cap band to go in the center. 
actually, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just use a um, the same color as right here, Persian black. Okay, so basically we're going to go in through this cat band and get it and bring it up. Okay, and then we're going to go in through this peg and bring it to the center. So go in through here. Make sure you get the correct band and bring it to the center. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing on that side. You're gonna come over here and grab, well, and grab that Persian and bring it to the center, okay? And then you're gonna go in through all of these and grab the band that goes forward, okay? And that's what we're gonna do the entire way up the loom. So now we brought this one forward, we're gonna go in and grab this one and bring it to the center. This is really loose for whatever, doesn't really matter. Okay, so both of them go, wow, my camera keeps messing up. Maybe I need to take it off my, uh, take my uh, case off so it doesn't, let me take this charger off so maybe that won't, won't pull on it so much. Okay, so this is going to be a little loose. You're going to bring the left one into the center, the right one into the center, and then you're going to get the one that goes straight up, okay? You're going to come over here, go into the left, or from the left to the center, the right to the center, and then get that bottom band from the center and bring it forward. So that's basically all we're going to do the entire way up. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and finish this till I get to the end. And then basically all we'll have to do is our border and we're done. Okay, so now that we're done with this part, I'm not completely done, but I want to hurry up because my daughter's getting ready to walk in, so I won't be able to finish it. So we're just going to go in through the cat band. That's what we have left for the border and just do our border over to the side on both sides and then all the way up. Okay. And just do that all the way up until you get to the top. And then I just need you to come to the point at the top and then meet me at the top with the C-clip and then we will one by one take it off the loom or maybe loosen the tension on one side and then take it off each one. Okay, I finished the sides. What I'm going to do is go in through the center, bring it out to the side, put a band on it, pull it towards me and well, pull it towards me so that it goes through all them bands put it here and then put a C-clip on. And I thought I had a C-clip handy and I don't. So I will grab one real quick. I have some lovely, lovely um, C-clip pack from one of my other that I had sitting there, so I'm gonna stick it on like that, take it off here, and then we can look on the side to see if all of it's been looped up. It looks like to me that it has, so that's wonderful. So basically, we're gonna loosen the tension on one side, okay, and do it on the other side. So there's quite a few bands, okay? And then we're just gonna take it off each single peg, okay, with your, hook. Don't take it off by ripping it off. Back in the day I used to like to do that, but I don't like doing it now. It's too much of a risk. Okay, so I'm going to finish taking this off the loom. Gosh, I hope this looks okay. I'm not sure the colors, if it's all going to clash. Okay, so take it off the loom and I'll meet you back and show you what I got. Just got it off the loom. Looks a little crazy right about now, but I'm going to go through, stretch it this way real good. That way all the bands go together the way they're supposed to stretch it out this way i'm going to fix my i have tons of untwisting to do so what i'm going to do is go through untwist then i'm going to take using my fingers only slide that to the center so it's not like so it's not laying like that sorry Ooh, twisted okay so untwist all my bands is what i'm going to do get my gold to be the one that i want on top Okay, 
and then I'm going to go through and just take my finger, slide it to the center to where it's going to lay more flat like that, like these versus like that, this side and this side. I just like it better when it's uniform. I may have to twist it to where they all lay flat like that. Then I'm going to go through and I am going to untwist all my bands because I want, I want from there to there, I want the Persians to show just like that. Okay, and I want all my glitter in my green to be the only thing showing. Okay, and then I'm going to slide my bead up a bit to where it's not laying like that. Okay, I'm going to slide it towards the center of the band. Once I see that bead or that band, how it's not got the glitter showing, I'm going to take it, pick it up, twist it. Okay, to where it's showing. And then when I untwist this one, then I'm going to slide the bead up. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully it's the right size for you. If not, you can put one or two extension on it. And this is my Crypto Frog. So do it any color you want. And um, I'm going to fix my bands and take a picture and put it up on uh, YouTube and also on Instagram. So you'll just have to see what it looks like then. Okay, until next time, take care. Bye.